Did I lose you? Are you back? Mm, I don't know what happened there. The weather, it's so sh sunshiny. I figured I wouldn't lose you today, but I don't know. Anyhow, I lost you. I'm sorry. What was I making? Oh, the point I was making is <coughs> you daddies right now do something to make sure that you, you show your child, especially your sons. It's so important for fathers to be there for their sons. Make sure that they see God in you. Imitate the father. <clears throat> Here's three suggestions that I would give you with regards to how you can imitate the father. Number one, watch your demeanor, your demeanor. You know, the faces that you make when, when your child responds to a question or your child disappoints you or your child does something great. You know, the whole stoic being big and bad and I'm a man and I don't show emotion is just not God. It's not God-like. You need to watch your demeanor. Number two, you need to watch your validation. You need to be somebody who, when you validate your child, it's obviously and clearly something that's worth validating, number one, but also that they, they see the love in the validation, that it's not a validation that you're given so that you can somehow manipulate circumstances so that you can get something later. It's a, it's a sincere validation, much like the validation that we get from our father. And then number three, accessibility. You know, I know a lot of daddies who are working 70 hours a week because they feel like I've got to put in the time so that I can save the money, so that I can buy a big house, so that I can have multiple vehicles, so that I can put my child through college, so that I can do all of this stuff. And in the process, they're losing some of the most valuable moments they could possibly have with their children. Remember, you can't buy love. The absolute best thing that you can do is be with your children. And if that means living, your family lives in a cardboard box, it's better than living in a mansion and never seeing your children. We need to imitate the Father of Heaven because for our youngsters, that's all they know. All right, there you go. That's the thing, dangy. Now let's do the prayer list. We got several of them that we need to cover this morning. Number one, Mark in Indiana. I mentioned Billy mentioned both of these. Mark in Indiana. Uh, let's see, a leg problem, possibly a blood clot, I think. And one of these is already at the E room. Maybe it's Sherry. Sherry was also mentioned by Billy and uh, heart condition. And so we need to remember both of them in our prayers. Luke, we've had on, his, on our list for a while now. Luke, epilepsy and uh, horrible headaches. Denise from Arkansas, still struggling, trying to figure out what you're going to do with her leg. Denise from Louisiana asked me just yesterday during uh, Lord's Day Live if I remember, continue to remember uh, her grandchildren. I hope to see her at a meeting here later on. Uh, yeah, no, it's next month, I believe. Uh, and then Velma who is the mother of two women I go to church with, an elderly woman uh, struggling with a lot of things. Please be with Velma. Lecky's daughter, very athletic, and uh, she broke her foot and had to have surgery. I think it was successful. Everything was well there, but Lecky wants us to remember her, and we certainly will do that. Tina from uh, Arkansas. Uh, I don't know why I didn't get Linda on there. I guess I started writing and got distracted. Tina and Linda, both uh, breast cancer uh, issues. Uh, I'd just like for you to remember the church in general, uh, a lot of struggles, got a lot of little congregations that are really, really struggling, which leads me to the Lord's Day Live. Got a information uh, yesterday, no, last night from a good friend about a, a congregation in Kentucky that's using my Lord's Day Live as their sermon time on Sunday mornings. I'm so thrilled about that. I, that's one of the reasons we went to all this expense and effort uh, is to, to make that available. So if you're if you're struggling perhaps on a Sunday morning, you need somebody to, you know, preach and you don't have that person or whatever it may be, think about doing using the Lord's Day Live. You don't have to do it live. All of these are recorded and they're put out there and I can, if you let me know, I can tell you exactly how to go there and get that and you can get the little thingy dingy and put it on a pen drive and you can shove it in a computer and throw it on the screen and, and there you go and i can preach for your congregation on sunday too i'll shower before i preach for your congregation though this is monday morning live we're supposed to be silly right pray for my water lines i would really like to have a shower today but you know what i'm doing next i'm going to malls for breakfast monday morning breakfast showered or not you probably can't smell it but i stink but it's okay, because mom's going to love me anyhow. That's kind of the, the the power of a mom, you know. The dads are pretty cool, but moms are pretty cool, too. And moms cook. Well, I guess some dads cook, but my mom can really cook. Okay, well, let's review. Benader, way to go. You got your mug coming your way. Don't forget, on Sunday mornings at 7 o'clock, you can listen to the audio thingy dangy whoop us. At 9 o'clock, I do the Lord's Day Live. Love to have you with me. Anything I've forgotten. Yeah, water's still solid, sitting right here in this <laughs> cold, Mr. Ugly. All right, send me your prayer requests if you need. Uh, Billy Porter says you can take a shower at your mom's house. Might have to do that. 
Moms are good for a lot of things. And uh, may have to go shower at mom's house. I love all of you. Thanks for joining in with me on this burr cold Monday morning. Uh, join me again Friday, last day's live, and uh, we'll deal with some serious stuff. Till then, you daddies, imitate the father. Sonny Childs, be there. Matthew 16, 26.